this will be the third part of this video for those who haven't watched the first part of this video i am putting the link in the description i am pressing one for front view and i am setting the camera from this view by pressing ctrl alt and zero i will add the background image in the left side from camera view and i will model in the right side that's why i am splitting the screen i am selecting the camera and i am adding the background image same we did in the previous video i am gonna show you how to do it by doing the one instead of doing all letters now i am gonna simply model this I will be using texture from this website, I have downloaded You can download whatever suitable for your logo I am simply dragging the diffuse texture here Before start working on material I am adding the remesh modifier here Once I have applied the image modifier, now it's time to work on materials and also it should be unwrapped. Cube projection will be fine for unwrapping. By selecting the diffuse map, I am pressing Ctrl D to add texture coordinate. By using texture coordinate, you can rotate scale and position your texture accordingly. Then I am simply gonna add the all maps to the principal VHDF shader I am 
simply adding the light to see how our texture works and once we are done with adding all the texture maps i am adding the displacement modifier here go to texture menu and simply add the new texture and select the image that we already have downloaded and select the displacement map here then you simply need to adjust those settings accordingly and also don't forget to set texture coordinate to uv To get more details, we need more polygon. And to add more details, I am gonna add sub sub modifier and put this above displace modifier. Once done with setting up displays modifier, now I am gonna mix two texture. For that, I am adding mix RGB node here, and I am dragging the grass texture which I already downloaded. And both these texture, I'll connect in RGB node. Right now the weightage of two layers is 50-50% to mix those both nodes. I'm gonna add a mask where the grass will be in certain area. It depends upon the black and white weightage of the mask. To create the mask, I'm gonna use noise texture. This is how I have already created other letters and once we are done all you have to do is put those in the scene we created in previous video. So that's it for this video. So see you in the next video.